Whoa, hello friends, how's it going? This is Jeff, playing Ultimate Admiral, Age of Sail, the British campaign on hard land and sea, and it's really hard. Now, I spent all that money, I prepared eight ships, but this battle is 100% ridiculous. Okay, that's my opinion. I'm not... I, I prepared Rhonda to go into it, but she gets destroyed so easily in this battle that I'm not going to lose 400 Marines, you know what I mean? So I'm not putting her in. You only have to put in six ships, so we're going to go, um, let me see, I probably want uh, those ships there. I don't know if three or four, whatever, but yeah, she was going to go in, but I'm not going to sacrifice her, so nope, not going to. This is a ridiculous battle. Okay, I'll read it. Our supplies have reported that a large and well-guarded convoy from America is expected. It's, it's also possible that the French will send a second fleet to help the convoy break through our blockade. So we must remain vigilant. Our blockade? Our task is to destroy or capture as many transports as possible, weaken in Napoleon, and protect in England. Okay, uh, pause. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is ridiculous. Okay, let's, let's take a look for just a moment. Now, oh, I could have swore I paused it. So it should be paused, right? That C should not be moving. All right. Um, this is probably a second rate, third rate, fifth rate maybe, or a fourth or whatever. Um, first rate, first rate, and another, another, um, you know, whatever, f fourth or fifth rate. Uh, second, first rate, first rate, and a third rate. <laughs> so that's nine ships. Okay. So even if I were to have eight ships to face this nine, you know, just have them having one, two, three, four first rates, I mean, that is much right there. And then behind me, uh, more ships are coming. So um, the only thing I can do is go to the first ship right and and put it at full mass right and hopefully everybody else will go at full mass and over here this guy Okay, so that's the first thing to do. Now, the next thing is um, go forward, right? I mean, I think all we can do is go forward. And we'll have to see what these guys are going to do. Because once we go forward, then we can hook that way with the wind, I think. Um, they're coming at us now. Yeah, I got to gotta figure this out for a minute. All right, so now we got to get back to normal speed. And now these three ships are headed into that. These guys. Now let's get this on and this on. 
Yeah, see, now they have the advantage of this. See this? Look at this. Look how far I could shoot. So they can do that to me, but I can't do that to them now. Yeah, so now you guys tilt that way. And um, you... Let's pause for a minute. And like I said, yeah, look at the arc. I mean, these that means these three ships have that arc and, and they can hit. Yeah, and they're already hitting us. I can see damage here. And we're not getting any. So I think we're going to cut that way. going to cut that way. And this one, I think I'm going to just tell it to go that way. Okay. Oh, and this one can follow that one, I guess. They're going about eight knots, it looks like. Now, what we want to do is we want to kind of let these guys go past us. And we'll try to get that one right there. But we're gonna we're gonna get broadsided quite a bit, and the only hope is to not lose a mass in this procedure here. But I mean, I have no chance of beating all these ships. There is absolutely no chance. And if I pause for just a moment to show you, um, not only that but look at this look at this another first rate another first rate and two third or fourth and they're just entering the battle they're just entering now. now I don't know if this is just the only four or if there's anything else behind that I can't quite tell but anyways let me get back to my ships now where is the border right here and so these guys came this way so if I go this way then I actually need these ships to go this way and it's unfortunate that they don't get to shoot because of this arc that's just the wrong way for us, but it's the way the wind is. But yeah, I'm going to send those three or four that way. Um, and now we just got to pay attention to these three ships here. We got to get past that group right here. Yeah, okay. So now I think if I bring this ship with the wind this way and 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 made a fact maybe these two can go yeah like that that okay because, yeah, I'm not going to stop. Th look at this. This is ridiculous. Like, 100% ridiculous. Now, Victoria, you you got to just kind of head this way. At the same time, you may shoot that ship as you go by, and maybe you can take out a mass. And over here, you should be shooting at... Let me see. How about that one right there? And this ship, yeah, and look at this. Look at this. We can't even get a shot off. So, yeah, that, that's too bad. I mean, really. 
I try to hit him there, maybe. I don't know. And then when you you should be able to shoot that one when you get over there. So you're gonna shoot him right there. And you, again, we will try to get you to shoot at that ship. You probably can't because of the arc. And then you will have to shoot at that one when you get over there. Because you are going to get over there eventually. Alright, so now I think I got to at least watch this ship here. These two are programmed to go that way. And if they can get by these guys without losing a mass, that's all good. And, you know, like I said, okay, I already told this one what to do, so let's get going let's do it um. like if we lose a mass it's gonna be very unfortunate hit that ship and we turn him we turn him that way that's right we turn him that way and we try to get him and while you're there it looks like you're green right here so you could get some rounds off we ought to be able to hit that ship right there, I would think. But at the same token, you got to continue to get this one because you should be able to. Now, let's let's go off this way, I guess. Yeah, because nothing else is is what I can do in the battle other than this little thing here. Um, now, how are you guys doing over here? Um, you might be able to shoot him, right? You might. Yeah, try there or. Yeah, like I said, I don't know this, this battle. I like I said, this is a crazy battle. And then I'll give you an order. You should be able to shoot him, Mike. I hope when you set these orders that they, the ship actually does what you're telling it to do. And then this one, I think, I want you to tilt that way. Oh, yeah, this is um, stressful. Okay, so now... They have gone past. So... I would imagine... You, you can... You can go over there. You can go there. And you can continue to there, I guess. All right, so anyways, as we do this, oh, okay, I think let's just watch this over here. I mean, I just got to get one ship right here. Now, I wonder if he's going to anchor. So I'm going to try to anchor it. Or, no, I better not. He's still going, so yeah. Man, how does he get away? Yeah, because I, I, I should not have anchored. Boy, does this suck. Man.
pause for a minute. I gotta see what's going on. These two ships are just going to try to get this one. I don't know if we can. Okay, and now I see my targets. Okay. There they are. So you head over that way. You head over... Oh, and it's against the wind, though. You head over that way. Oh, and I got one more. Yep. And you continue going. All right, so now. Let's see how. Yeah, you can. Okay, hold on. Why can't my ship. Are you targeted in? Let me see. Oh, you're, you're stuck on... Yeah, I mean, I don't know why it's not letting me target. Okay, all right, whatever, let's... Let's see if we can... All right, we got it, okay. I mean, this just seems to be the thing to do in the, you know, while I'm in this area is to get one of these little guys. Not that I want the ship, it's just, um, just something that I can do at this very moment, so I might as well do it. I don't know. Okay, let's pause for a minute, because we got, like, if I don't get a third, this third rate, well, hey, maybe I can initiate it right here. Let me see. You go right. You you turn that way and you just ain't ain't oh excuse me come on come on anchor anchor right there okay now we may not get this but we can at least try he's he has enough momentum to just keep on going i think is is what's going now he's coming back i see so i gotta really get this done right here if i goof up with the third rate over there um we'll see but i just want to get this out of the way before the enemy comes back to this area here. So let me, yep, okay, we got it. So let's go ahead and dump a couple units in maybe. All right, and now you head that way and you head that way. Now, what do we got over here? Ah, oh, we're still on that. Okay, hold on. All right. Okay, so now he's turning around, and that means this guy is going to turn around. So now we got to... Well, I think I'll... I don't know if I should, because he's... All right, now he's coming up already. So he's going to broadside over here if I sit here. And he's already broadside in this one. And the whole point of this part here is to not lose any ship. So that third rate might not be worth it. Now, over here is the two that we have to get, I believe. Yeah, look. Oh, and they're not even in the battle yet. And what speed are we... Oh, we're only going at three knots. Okay, um... Mm -mm. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, what are you going at? Four? Okay, that's okay. What are you going at? Five. 
Alright. Because I, I imagine if we can get these two ships then we just send everybody out of bounds and it should be over because did destroy or capture. Yeah. Like I wonder if I, as soon as I capture that the battle will be over. I wonder. Let me see. This is the only thing I'm, I'm worried about is so I will go ahead like like these two over here I you know it's that bug that I constantly talk about where it won't end but these guys are just gonna like I don't think there's anybody over here right no so they just gotta go to that border and get out and then I will have at least that 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 ship let's go take a look and see what it is this way we'll know for sure this ship is a it's a fifth rate. Okay, so it's a fifth rate. So they have a couple of fifth rates. They got a lot of first rates. And that's why this battle is, is totally ridiculous. <laughs> but um, if I could, you know, get... The only reason, because he was last, so I thought maybe with these two we could get him. But I just don't like the idea that these guys already did their U-turn. And notice how he stopped... Because their 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 sails are going up, like or going down or whatever, so he could shoot, you know. And but these guys are supposed to be doing their thing, so let's let them do their thing, while I do this at the moment. All right, so yeah, and I, I just don't like that these guys are hooking, you know, so they're already, like, this might not be a good possibility. And Catherine, maybe I could drop, I could drop two units out, maybe, because let me anchor her for just a moment. But that could also get them killed. Oh, he, he's taken off. Okay, no, no, okay. Get back, get back. That's not gonna work. No. We, we, okay, so fine then. Okay, let's go. That's fine. Okay, we're gonna take some loss. But yeah, he didn't stay, so um, we just gotta get going. That's all we gotta do is get going. That's all we gotta do is get going. Right? And those guys. Okay, now. Yeah. these th Their job is just to get out. So th they're going to go that way. I mean, now you can shoot at him if you want, but... You know, there, there is no way that I want to stay in this battle. There is absolutely no way. And if I go like this, yeah, you can see they're on the way. And they're actually going up here to link with these ships right here. And I, I sure hope I can get them. So I might have to watch this part of the battle now. Because we got to cut them off, no doubt. And you two... Um, matter of fact, you know what I think I could do with these two? Is I can send them off that way because it'll be kind of like... With the wind, right? Because notice he's moving really fast, so... We gotta, we gotta get going that way, and I think that will um, have these guys follow them that way. Maybe now I'll take pressure off the middle over here. So that's programmed to do that. So if they don't do it, then whatever, I'll lose that. But 
we're gonna try to check this out and see what we can do. Three knots, two knots. Oy. Three knot. Yeah, so I have. I have four of my, my, I think it's my best chimps. Yeah, they got 600 on there, so yeah, I need everything that I can sing, send that way. Yeah, see, uh, this, yeah, he's... Uh, Okay, so we have to kind of look at where he's going in order to get the same windage. Because, yeah, whenever you turn around against the wind, your ships stop. Now, we can destroy them or capture them. So, that means if I can get... Oh, this is painful. All right, let's go a little faster because, you know, this is painful to watch. All right, now. So, yeah, start shooting at them. Come on. Oi. How fast are we going? Not fast. Three. Okay, you gotta close in on them. What's good is we can close in on this one and be shooting this one right here. If I can hit that right there. Come on, no, you can't. You gotta keep going though. Yeah, you gotta keep going. Gotta keep going with the wind. Or again, we're going against the wind, but I mean, we gotta get the angles right. Like I said, I don't even know what's going on in the battle elsewhere. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, these uh, these guys are getting creamed. So Catherine in defense. Oh yeah, and look at these guys. Oh, and these guys actually went out. Okay. So yeah, like, yeah, if I lose, you know, I might lose these, but. Like, I, I didn't even know, maybe they could go this way to get out. Because if they cut past those ships, they might try to capture them. Yeah, and we already lost a mass. So yeah, we're going that way. We're going that way. I gotta salvage at least one of these. And what is Catherine? Oh, she's the Ardent, so I don't... I mean, it sucked to lose a ship, but... And a Bellinola, I'd rather have the Bellinola survive, but... Um, yeah, it really sucks. I mean, and, and... and Are you even taking a chance at shooting at him? Same with you. You should be. Oh yeah, and you're not going to be boarding. Um, but you, if you can shoot at him, come on, on you, you shoot him. I hate that when it doesn't work like that. Okay, so all right, no, 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 no. You gotta go that way. And you, oh yeah, look at she's gonna sink. 
yep. Oh, that sucks. Because, honestly, to get into this battle, this particular miserable battle, the point is to not lose a ship, you know what I mean? Like, because I just, you know, there's no way I would want to fight these guys. No way. All right, so now you're going to shoot there. And you got to keep coming this way. Yeah, and at this point, if I if I destroy or sink, so who is Andromache? Oh, is that the one that I captured? She probably left the battlefield. Yeah, I just want to slow the ships down. I don't want to actually destroy them. Look at that. That's tremendous. Okay, let's pause for a minute. Uh, let's see, how is this developing? All right, now you you cut. Because they do have 600 on these, so these are not going to be easy to take over. But he can at least blast the heck out of that one. I do have a thousand here, but yeah, look at that. That's tremendous. Okay, so now... And we'll go with uh, canister. Okay. Oh, anchor. And that means you guys have got to continue on over here. And now let's just take a look and see. Oh yeah. Yep. This this sucks, man. I'm gonna lose 600 guys plus a ship. I mean. And defense can go out right there. Because, you know, I mean, look at this. Yep, so this this, this battle is going to cost me a, a ardent and... Because even if I, if I say anchor and dump everybody out and send them that way, these guys have the long arc. They're going to shoot and kill all the lifeboats. So I'm going to have to just write this off, you know, and it's unfortunate that I was greedy and wanted to try to get a third rate over here. I would have been better off just sending those ships to go forward and to get up and to get near the border to then get out, like let these guys come up to them and then just get them out. So they're stuck over here. And that way I would not have lost these. So I, I think um, you can say I got greedy. Like I got I got the, the little uh, fifth rate. And that worked out okay. Because they were turning around and they were nowhere near him. So I was able to get him. But I, I got greedy. And that and the greed cost me that ship. I can just, I'm just going to have to write it off. And not worry about it. If it says it sinks, I can go over there and look at the lifeboats and try to direct them somewhere. But with that amount of first rates over there, they're going to just blast the heck out of those lifeboats and they'll all die. So now I just have to get back to the actual um, objective, which is over here somewhere. Okay. So we're going to see if, if we can do that. And I got to still get... This ship and, and and this ship needs to get somewhere over here and this one can keep coming this way too because I might need to dump people off to get on these ships. I don't know. We'll have to see.
Wow, he gave up real quick. All right. Okay, so now. I don't know. Hey, come on. I hate this when it doesn't allow you to end it. Okay, so look. I want you to head over there. Right? Head, have that one head over there. Like, I don't know if I can, I could head it to there to get out. I'm gonna, no, it's against the wind though. That's the only problem. I think we have to go with some speed. All right now. Yeah, I mean, this battle, I, I mean, what are you doing? You, you, I don't even know. Yeah, it, it appears that we're going to have to go the other way. I said it might be better. I mean, I gotta somehow get that ship, because I think the the sooner. Hey, come on, come on. The sooner I get the. Okay, look. If you can go that way and you can come in. Oh yeah, and look at these guys. Oh my God, oh, he's just standing still. So now I'm gonna lose another ship. Let me see what it is. Okay, now look. Oh yeah, you're about to sink, but let me send you that way. All right, yeah, he's out of bounds. Good. So yeah, I have to write this one off. Hey, you know what? I wonder if I could... Um... Hey, that's interesting. Okay. Let me do... Let me... Let me... Let me anchor this ship, right? I mean, this is the only chance that I have. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. Catherine. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, let me let me take a chance and get these guys out. Okay, pause. Okay now. All of you Let me see. Can I head them to here? Will they survive? Right? We're going to see, because you know I'm going to lose this ship, right? It's a third-rate audit. I don't really care. I'm going to let it go. You know, it hurts my fleet to lose a ship. But if I can get a victory out of this by just capturing this next ship right here, um, I'll have to accept that. And, and, it's, and it's, it's based upon greed. I wanted to try to get a third ray. And even here I'm goofing up because uh, we got these guys. All right, you know, like, like I said, they're, they're, if they hurt my ship, let, let, me, let me come this way then because this ship is having a hard time. So... I'm going to have to send this ship this way with the wind. Hopefully we just got these four ships here. So we'll do that. We'll have him turn. Because, you know, he'll... Because right now he's... Look at, he's minus. And that's why he's been stuck here. And these guys are... This, they, they might get a second one. Now, Prince William... Oh, he's a Bellinona. And I don't want to lose a Bellinona. That's for darn, darn sure. All right, so now um, you pull him in and you pull him in. And you come with this one 
to protect this one, I guess. All right, let's see how this goes. Oh, I like that. We just pulled him in. Now, if this gives me a victory once I get this, um, I'm, I think I'll end it only because I already lost a third-rate ship and I'm in the process of possibly losing another. And this is just a terrible battle. Um, okay, let's go ahead and drop a couple in. And I can't finish, so let's pause for a minute and let's see what's going on. Yeah, because this way, this way all these guys will survive. Because look, they're going to try to broadside these guys. And I lost a ship, but at least I'll have all these guys, though. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, I mean, the ship probably costs about, what, 35000 or something? But, you know, whatever. I mean, you know, that, that's bad. I mean, I think, yeah, I think I'm going to end. I mean, I'm not going to be greedy and try to get this guy because these guys are turning around. They're broadsiding him. And I think I took enough damage in the battle. So, yeah, I'm going to take the victory right now and be done with this because look at this right I mean 20,000 2,000 guns 30 ships I mean so I lost 1255 and I lost a third rate ardent but thankfully I saved about 500 guys that were on that ship so, by doing it this way. So, I think I would have to say, you know, that that was the better way to go. Like, to get the guys off the ship that was dead in the water and spare them. Because if I would have let the battle go on and try to get greedy to get one more ship, um... I would have lost much more than what I lost. So I think, as you can see, I mean, come on. This is this is not a fun battle at all. It's a matter of luck, if you think about it, of getting ships over here and to get these. I mean, because if that group catches up here and we don't destroy these or capture these, we lose the battle. And I would lose the war. So, I mean, I don't want to do that. So, you can see right here. Yeah, look it. Look it. 112 guns. So, yeah. All first rates. There's one, two, um, three, four, five. Oh! And they even had 126 guns. So, this must be a different class ship. Like, yeah, it would be nice to have single that one out and get it but no not at the cost of my whole fleet you know what i mean it's, it's not worth it it's not worth it but yeah so they had they had yeah they had this beauty of a 126 gun ship i mean that would have been nice but yep and it says lost but these guys were the guys that were on that ship they were just out on lifeboats so i'll get them back they'll be in my reserves and again, in this situation here, look at 
and, and look at one of these were so damaged that it could have got destroyed. It could have blew up or it could have sunk, right? And that means I would only got half of the money. So always in these type of battles, if you can get these, look at, I'm going to get 110,000. So that money is going to be helpful. Um, that allows me to upgrade a ship or something or, or whatever. Because um, a lot of my ships don't have upgrades. But anyways, we'll, we'll discuss that later, I guess. Okay, we'll just get out of this. Okay. So yeah, okay, so I, I'm looking at this as a victory, folks, even though I lost a third-rate ship. Because, hey, look, with that 110000 that I got, I could go over here and buy... Okay, it's 25000 so I lost a ship that was worth about twenty-five thousand. Um, of cost. I mean, let me see. Do I have a third rate? Where's my uh, second rate? Second rate. Oh, my third rate. Need. Okay. Yeah. Look, I could sell it for eighteen thousand, but. I can buy it for 25000 But this is a Bellinona too, so maybe that third rate was worth only 15000 But still, for me to cost right now while these bonuses are in, I can buy one for 25000 I made 110000 on those two transports, so technically I could buy two of these if I needed them, but but I'd also have to put guns on that cost me about 10 grand and personnel another 10 grand each. So, but whatever. I mean, it's a victory. We will take it. Get one career point. So let's go ahead. Oh, and look. I have a thousand. Yeah, by capturing those two transports that put me over a thousand captives. And these are the guys that came off the ship. You can see their intelligence was 57, dexterity 57, strength 45, perception 56, willpower 41, and endurance 71. So I'll get to put those guys on a ship. And matter of fact, I'm not going to end it because we got these two to do. Impossible spy, that'll take only two ships. And armed uh, neutrally will take only two ships. So right now... And matter of fact, look at this. We got 900 on this ship. We got 700. Hey, and we and we got a perk now. Let me see what's the speed only. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with speed on this one. Cause speed helps out. I might even take some of those reserves and go to optimal. Because we need another perk, so I definitely want to put this ship into the point of interest battle. And I actually, I only need three ships. And Victoria, I can do the same thing. I can go to Optimal, and all right. So these two ships definitely need to be in the battle because they need to get another perk where these two ships don't need it. So then let me look at two other ships. Well, either way, I'd have to repair this, so I'm going to do it. And you got your three perks. Ah! No, wait, 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 wait. Am I getting confused here? Yeah. We know about this one. We know about that one. We're on this one. You already got three perks. And what about Prince? No, Prince. So Prince doesn't have the third perk, so I will go to Optimal for him. Which again, he has junky guns only because of cost factors of when I was doing it. So So you I'm going to I'm going to take you off for just a moment. And you I'm going to take you off for just a moment. Because I want this ship, this ship, and William. And I guess I'll have to put the defense in. 
because um, yeah I don't think I need to have the other ships so that will give me four ships and Ronda I'll take you off too that way I don't have to okay so now if I put the defense in and if I put Tanya in that'll be a hundred percent and if I put in Victoria and the Prince, and that will be 100%. Oh, and before I do that, let me look at my perk. Yeah, I'm still going to, I'm going to put it under um, upgrades, because upgrades are expensive on the ships, man, I'm telling you. All right, and we're going to go ahead and go to the next stage. And the enemy contacted me. All right, so I can get 4,000. I can get seven rep. Well, I'm going to take the rep. All right, good. So we got rid of the prisoners. We have that. Um, let's see. Hey, we sunk the two ships. So that's really good. We got 16,000 and five reputation. And right here we got... We sunk one and we gave them heavy damage. We took some light damage. And we got 20 grand. 20 grand's nice. And five reputation. And now we'll have one more to do later on after we do this one. So we're going to go ahead and look at this. Rumors of a huge combined French and Spanish fleet have been turned out to be true. The, the climate encounter appears to finally be upon us despite the odds we must prevail or no one will be left to stop napoleon and we get plus 200 reputation change the french fleet at tolan has managed to break out and has a, a, and has crossed the atlantic in an attempt to link up with the fleet from Brest, Greece, that was already at sea. If these fleets were to combine, uh, we would be gravely outmatched. The eyes of all England are upon you and your men. Okay, so you need eight or ten ships. So let me go to my fleet. Okay, I'm an admiral. Look at... I'm an admiral, and I have all the hundreds. So yeah, I go back on my ship. He has a Commodore, he has hundreds and then 96 and 92, so he goes back on his ship. And, uh, okay, so now um, I think uh, the game is uh, bugging out at the moment. Oh, maybe because of this. Okay, let me do this. Let me give it that. Yeah, okay, so notice how the game is not giving me a choice to uh, needs repairs. Like it's not, so that's a bug that I will have to report. So I'm going to have to stop the video here and I'll have to report that bug. Um, don't forget, uh, the game does save, um, so I'm not going to worry about that, but because it's a bug that it's not letting me repair the ships, that means I'm not going to be able to do anything with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a report and send that to them. But anyways, no matter where you are in the world, I hope you're having a great morning or a great afternoon or a great evening. Hey, I did get a victory. The game does save after the victory. So I'll report the bug and then I will um, see if, if I can do some things to try to get back to where I can repair my ship. But anyways, again, let me sign out. Uh, have a great day, great afternoon, great evening. Be kind to each other. Take care of yourself. 
God bless you and your own religion. This is Jeff, your friend out there. Adios, amigos.